colleagues, I rise to you today to speak as the representative of a district made up of small communities reliant on farming, the natural resource industry, and tourism. A district that stretches from Astoria to Tillamook and the edge of Forest Grove to the Columbia River. And though most of the district is about two hours outside any major urban area, mine is a district that has been ravaged by rent increases and no cause evictions just as much as you might expect to find in a place like Portland or Salem. One of the joys of campaigning is meeting people at their doorsteps. Over the months that I ran for this position, I knocked on thousands of doors and, sp and spoke to thousands of my fellow community members. We talked about why we love the North Coast, and we talked about the challenges facing our communities. It didn't matter which city along the North Coast I was in, I heard consistently that housing affordability was a top concern. Too many people are living on the edge, one rent spike away from being homeless. In fact, one RV park owner in my district recently demonstrated how tenuous the position of many renters in my community can have uh, and just how important the protections this bill will provide are. In response to the legislation at hand, this landlord emailed several of our colleagues threatening to evict his tenants and spike their rents. Unfortunately, the information he was sharing with his tenants was not accurate. For the dozens of people who make their homes in that park, these threats of displacement, of displacing them is a stark reminder of how critical this legislation is for people in my community and the people throughout Oregon. Yesterday, the New York Times wrote about this crisis facing our state. That piece, which is on your desk, pointed out that in recent years, median rents statewide have increased 14%. The housing crisis has affected every corner of our state from mine to yours. Now, a critical, component of the housing, a critical component to the housing puzzle that has been often posited by some of our colleagues as to why SB 608 is not the solution to the housing crisis point to the lack of units available in this state, 155,000 by conservative estimates. And for those colleagues, I agree. This is not the solution, but a mere piece of a massive jigsaw puzzle that we are charged to solve. The call for additional housing supply is heard loud and clear, and this body will hear a myriad of credits and incentives that we as a state can provide to developers. But 155,000 units will not appear by tomorrow, and the thousands of Oregonians that need today the help that 608 will provide them is why we should vote for this bill. As someone who has spent the last year talking to countless rural Oregonian tenants about the stress that they face every day in the rental market because of this crisis, I know how critical this legislation is towards helping them find the stability they deserve. I hope that you will join me in supporting Senate Bill 608. Thank you.